What's up guys? After a nine hour long bus ride, finally got to our accommodation. But the first accommodation we went to was more like a crack house and wasn't even clean when we got there. So we decided to get a little upgrade and we found this place and it's like luxury basically. It's absolutely spectacular. It's perfect. Let me give you a little tour. It's immaculate. Look at that shower. Heated tower racks is always a good sign. Good mirror. Not bad lighting either for the games. You can even wash your ass after you take a number two. We've got a huge, huge bedroom as well. Huge bedroom. Fully equipped kitchen, massive dining area, feeling like millionaires. <laughs> and we're in Poland too, so it's quite cheap when you're paying with pounds. So we've really got onto a winner here. And we're really happy. Mm. Balcony, little view, and we're in heaven. And wait till you see the gym. Whoa. So I think now we're just going to get organized and head straight into the city square. Is that what it's called? Town square? Yeah, um, market square. So we're gonna get organized and head into the market square, have a look around, organize some dinner, and basically chill out. The gym's open till about 12 a.m. So I'm most likely gonna get a workout in after dinner. And then we're going to head to Otswich Concentration Camp tomorrow, which isn't really exciting, but it's going to be very interesting and something that you obviously have to do if you come to Poland. So I'll check in with you guys most likely at the Market Square and at dinner. <laughs> so we just left the apartment then and we're heading up to the Market Square now in Krakow, Krakow. Poland. <laughs> what is it? Krakow. Krakow. When we're in crack off. Crack off. <laughs> so yeah, just walking through the street now. Having a look around. got to a traditional Polish dumpling place, one of the local and best cuisines. And I think we've hit the money with these. What ones did you get today? Spinach and Garni. Spinach and Garni. And what's this one? What's this one? Raffaello. 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 And what are these two? We have cabbage, um, mushroom, and these are potato, cottage cheese, and onion. <laughs> Thank you. So we just left that dumpling place. They're the best dumplings I've ever had in my life. I've only been in Poland for like two hours. Already won. We've already won. <laughs> So we just got back to our apartment and had an awesome time having a look around, a quick look around Krakow. And now the gym's actually open till midnight, so I think we're gonna get a quick session in before we go to bed, even though it's late. It's just the bus ride took so long, it was like nine hours to get here, then we had to change accommodation. Um, so we've got to get up early and go to Otswich concentration camp. 
it's going to be a full on day. Obviously I'm not going to do any filming there or anything because it's, I can tell already it's going to be pretty emotional. So I'll probably just get a few pictures and, and just take it all in tomorrow. I might check in with you guys tomorrow night and maybe talk a bit about, just maybe express how I'm feeling about everything. I'm not sure if I'll feel like even being on camera tomorrow, depending on how things go, but we're obviously going to try when we get back to go out and have a good time because we haven't really seen the place and there's plenty to see here in Kokov as well. The city's beautiful so far. Everyone's really friendly and we've had a good time tonight. So I'll wrap the vlog up here. I'm going to hit the gym and I'll see you guys most likely tomorrow night. Stay tuned. Good morning everyone, day two. Oh, well, first day really, got here last night. But getting ready to go to Otswitz today, to the concentration camp. Getting a little bit nervous and uneasy. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it when I get there. But we're just getting ready now, had breakfast and gonna go meet our friend get a coffee and head there so I'll check in with you guys tonight maybe this afternoon when I get back and we'll see how things go from there yeah what's up guys so I just got back from the Auschwitz tour it's day two obviously I haven't really vlogged much today because of where we went I just wanted to experience it for myself and it's obviously not very appropriate to go somewhere like that and vlog and film everything and it's just not it's obviously the worst environment to try and do that out of respect for everyone but I kind of wanted to share my experience with going there I can't really describe in words what it's like to actually be there the emotion you feel and and the awe of the place of what's actually happened i think the best way to sum it up is the same way that the tour guide kind of said that when you rock up there you actually can't when you arrive there even though it's in plain sight or that you know the remains of what happened there are there and it's still very well preserved. I was actually surprised by how well preserved the place was. The original walls, painting, materials, leftover clothing, everything's still there. And even though it's all in plain sight, you see it with your own eyes, it's still quite a shock to believe that something that horrible actually happened. Like the tour guide said, when people were rounded up and, and taken there, even they had heard the rumours that this was going on, that people were getting exterminated and murdered and they still couldn't conceive that, that it was true until it was too late and I think that's exactly the same way I felt today. Like, you know it's real and you know it happened, but you just can't believe that something like that would happen. And... I was nervous even going there today on the way there like I didn't know how it would feel I knew it would be quite intense and it would affect me a lot and I just it was like it was what I expected but a lot more it was so much more real I'd, I've read a lot about it and I've always been interested in what happened there and wanted to find out more I think all I can really say is you don't really want to go there but you have to go there to really experience it and understand what actually happened. Look inside, look inside the buildings and, and touch and touch, look inside the buildings and actually feel, get a feel for what it was like, what it must have been like for the people living in there and dying in there. It's, it's just, it's just not even, I can't even put it in words. I'm just, I'm kind of in shock right now. I, 
I think the feeling, the best way I can describe the feeling of being in there is just an empty, an emptiness. You kind of feel like a shell walking around in there absorbing all, all this sadness. And I even got angry at some stages in there, just hearing the stories and seeing how people were treated. Like these are human beings. A lot of them just murdered for the simple fact that they were born to be a certain race or a certain kind of person. Women and children just rounded up to be killed for no, no good reason other than where they were born. And kind of left with us, left even, and kind of left the place even more sad for the fact that people haven't learned from this. Like these issues are still around, there's still racism, there's still hatred and a kind of evilness in the human race that will probably, that will sadly never, never go away. So you kind of leave with a bit of hopelessness, but you leave with hope as well that I think everyone needs to go there and see this place. I think it needs to be on your bucket list. You need to go and experience this because you can't walk away from somewhere like that without it having an effect on you and without you learning from it and just wanting to be more loving and caring for other people and understanding. There's no way you can walk out of that place and not be affected or moved and want, want to be a better person in general. So I think if you're gonna get anything out of it, that's probably the best thing you can get out of it, even though it's so sad and emotional, such an emotional roller coaster, just walking through there and hearing the stories that you cannot leave without wanting to do better by the world. So I think I'm just going to leave today here. I'm going to try and go out. I don't even really want to go anywhere. It's, it's weird because it, even when we were there, it started raining. It was real gray and dark. It, it basically, I guess, suited the whole feeling of the place. But now I'm going to try and go out for dinner because we are here in Poland for the last night. So I'm at least going to try and enjoy my last night. But you just feel like coming home and curling up in a bowl and, and going to sleep, but yeah, I just thought I'd share my experience there, not that my opinion or anything really matters, but I just wanted to share for those that might get a chance to go there, my experience with having visited that concentration camp, so yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the, uh, today's vlog here and hopefully capture some more footage of Krakow tomorrow. So I got home from dinner a little while ago. It was a fairly quick dinner, had dessert as well and pretty much didn't feel like going out and socializing. It wasn't really a wasn't really a positive day. It was kind of a, a full on day. Obviously going to the concentration camp and everything and it wasn't the best weather. Had a good time overall, but this was the main thing we wanted to do when we came to Amsterdam. Oh sorry. So the main thing we wanted to do, this was the main thing we wanted to do when we came to Krakow and to Poland. So we've got that out of the way now. Very educational, well worth going to. Wouldn't go there again, but I definitely recommend people do go there if they get the chance. And hopefully now the rest of the trip picks up a little bit and we can get back into having some fun. And we're off to Milan tomorrow for a few days. And the weather's meant to be really hot. So we're looking forward to that too. Can't wait to get there. I'll check in with you guys probably at the airport before we fly out to Milan. And I'll see you then. Hope you liked the Poland vlog. Even though it wasn't very, I wouldn't say it was a happy vlog, but hopefully you got something out of it anyway. I'll check in with you guys soon.